Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. I lift you higher. Every day I'll be praising you because I am alive because you want me to be alive. And my life is for you, O oh Lord. To worship you, to adore you, to praise you, to bless you, because you are all in all in my life. Be that exalted Father in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for us men that are watching this clip today, that when it comes to crisis, you will not be informed. When it comes to sickness, it will never come to your body, soul, and spirit. When it comes to bondage, you will never enter into it. When it comes to mistake and error, you will never fall into them. When it comes to controversy, they shall be far away from your life. When it comes to battle, the Lord God Almighty will take over the battle. When it comes to death, you shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, you shall always be satisfied and fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to continue in our series, Idolatry in Religion. And we are in the subtopic of idolatry in Christian religion. By the grace of God, we go to other religion. And as I told you the other time, that any religion that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ, that did not recognize Jesus Christ as the Son of God, that did not believe that Christ died on the cross, that did not believe that Christ resurrected after the third day, and that he ascended to heaven and is at the right hand of power of the Almighty God. That religion is already idolatry. But for the sake of this topic, we see go to other religion. We are in the subtopic of idolatry in Christian religion. And don't forget, I told you, there is no idolatry in Christianity. Because Christianity is Christ-like. That is to say, by their fruit, you know them that this one resembles Christ. So there is no idolatry in Christ. So there can never be idolatry in Christianity. But when it comes to Christian religion, as I told you, how this religion started, when Constantine gave license to that Christian to become a legal religion, and when the emperor became Christian automatically, without much conversion, and when most of the ruler now begin to rule in the church, and when they introduce all the idols of their empire into Christianity. You know, before Christianity was legalized, there are many pagan in greco romanian empire. Pagan, different type, in different family, that one family way of religion may not resemble the other family. But when Christianity was legalized, all this pagan religion too receive some freedom and it seems as if now Christianity now unites them that made all those traditions to intrude into the service of the church. And that is why you can confirm that there are many churches doing a lot of tradition that you can never find in the Bible. It is not their fault, it is just they inherited it from the onset when Christianity became religion. Before I go further, let me quickly answer a question. Uh, somebody asked and said, even Jesus is not the original name of Jesus, and that is why that one too is attached with idolatry. That is not correct. Really, the original name of Jesus is Yehoshua. In the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, when the prophecy of Jesus Christ came, that the name was given, that is, 
Yehoshua, which means Yahweh safe. You understand? The first person that, that bear that name is Joshua, the son of Nun. In the Hebrew Bible, that Joshua in the book of Exodus chapter 17, in the Hebrew Bible is called Yehoshua. But you know, because of the influence of what I'm talking about, the influence of Greek and the influence of Roman Empire, you know, that name begin to change from one culture to another until we reach the name of Jesus Christ that we are using now. From Yehoshua, it was later transliterated to what is called Yeshua. Yeshua is an Aramaic language. Aramaic language is an ancient language that in those days, all this Levant, when they conquer a lot of domain, it makes that Aramaic to become lingua franca of many Semitic settlements. Semitic people like the Hebrew, like, like the Levant, like the Mesopotamia, like the Canaanites, like the Perisites, like many people in those Asia minor sites, even to the area of Turkey, part of Iran, and many other places like that. During the time of Jesus Christ, Aramaic was the language of the Galilean. So Jesus Christ, when he was in the physical, spoke Aramaic language. So when Yehoshua was transformed or transliterated into Aramaic language, it was called Yeshua. So when Bible was translated into Greek, the Greek Septuagint, that Yehoshua was later transliterated into what is called Jesus. And how did they come about this Jesus? Now, Yehoshua to Jesus, the Greek alphabet, they don't have white sand. So that white sand, they change it to I sand. The Greek alphabet don't have a H sand, and they don't have alternative to that H sand, so H sand was dropped. The Greek alphabet did not have S H sand, so they only have S sand, so S was included. And the Greek sand alphabet, whenever it is for man, it always ends with X. That is why they now have what is called Jesus. When that name was Latinized, that is the Latin language, they translated it to what is called Jesus. And from Jesus, uh, the, the, the high sand was later divided into two, I and J. But J that time did not have what is called the jar sand. So I, they always use it to differentiate in word. And in some culture, they use it as vowel. And the J to start a name. So it was around 1500 AD that that J sand began to have what is called J. And from that, Jesus we now later get what is called Jesus. Now, Jesus, this modern name, come from Latin name that is called Jesus, and from Greek name that is called Jesus, and from Aramaic name that is called Yeshua, and from the Hebrew name that is called Yehoshua. And let me just tell you this, the name of Jesus Christ never lose its efficacy. Whenever you mention that name, it has no idolatry attachment. It is just as a result of language and as a result of some alphabet that may not contain alphabet of the original word. Till now, if you mention the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every knee bow in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ he is the Lord. So Jesus as a name has nothing to do with idolatry. In Nigeria here, in the eastern part of Nigeria, some people don't know how to pronounce the
the letter A. When they want to say Lagos, they will say Lagos. When they want to say love, they will say rough. You understand? It's just like that when it comes to language. You know, we stop at uh, the name of the day. I'm telling you how influential they are. And please understand this very well. The people that really influence the spread of Christianity, especially Christian religion. As I told you that, even many places, they took that Christian religion too. It is as a result of their own political undertone. Because they want to conquer many territory. They want to rule over those places. They believe that they can use that religion to unite people together so that they can really be administering different country at different time. And you will discover this time around that a lot of all these countries that hate Christianity in the initial stage, that persecute Christian, in this modern time, they still hate Christianity. A lot of them are becoming gay. They are practicing their occultism in this present time. And they are introducing all those occultism in a way, in a deceptive way. You see many people now, you can have chain, that we have cross, they will not know that they have been initiated into one cult or the other. You see some people, they have some ring with different symbol in maybe in their thumb or their fingertip. They may not know that they are being introduced or initiated into occult. They will be deceiving them as if they are in Christ. The Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. You shall know them, really. And that is why the book of Jude says, there are many that have crept in unaware, many idol personality and in Christianity, and they want to perpetrate their own religion in order to spoil what is called Christianity. But to God be the glory, the Lord Jesus Christ has established his church upon the rock, and the gate of hell shall never prevail. Irrespective of the name given today, irrespective of dedicating every month to different type of idol, to God be the glory, we are still scaling through. Thank God for the, the gift of tongue, you know, and that is why every Christian must know how to speak in tongue, because speaking in tongue is a mystery. When you speak in tongue, you cannot be corrupted by all this idolatry phenomenal. By the grace of God, we continue from here next week. Remain rapturable in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.